Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is just showcasing some top Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9 attacks from the last war. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show all of these nice attacks in kind of a highlight video of this war against Crunch Time. We did not get the victory, but it was a solid war, and besides a few hiccups on the Town Hall 11s, trying to get like two stars on them, we had some trouble with that. Besides that, it was a decent war, and uh, only a little over a week before we go into CWL Season 3, we're in the Premier League once again. So, um, I have all kinds of ideas for a new series based on uh, those weekend wars and stuff I can do with that. And uh, I'll give you guys more information if I decide to actually go through with any of those ideas. Uh, but you guys should look forward to that because there um, should be a lot of great content coming out of CWL regardless of the exact specifics. So anyway, in this video we're taking a look at some of my favorite attacks. Um, just some variety at Town Hall 9 we're going to take a look at as well. One to start with a Town Hall 10 attack. This one, of course, is going to uh, go for a 3-star. You can see the Witches, Bowlers around the outside. And then in the core, it really comes down to the Queen. Um, even if there is a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle, the Queen is still going to take it out eventually. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to her taking out the Lava Hound and stepping up and taking out that second Inferno. If you can get both Infernos down, you're looking good. Right here, he even, he's even able to swag the Queen's ability. Uh, pretty much didn't really need it. So... Uh, great stuff there, and that that's it. you got to get through the core of the base. Otherwise, the witches, the bowlers going around the outside of the base doesn't even matter. It's, it's just going to die to that last inferno unless your queen can get it. Now, oftentimes, the queen will do a walk around the outside, which means you have to invest even more to get in there with the bowlers or your king or whatever you have um, and get that second inferno because it's all about getting both infernos with the push into the middle and then having the witches around the outside clean up the rest. So moving on, three Town Hall 9 attacks. That's the main focus because there was some just awesome Town Hall 9 attacks I really want to show you guys. It's great variety. This one is, I guess, a bit of a hog attack, but not really, and no heal spells. That's interesting. Um, we typically see heal spells when you see Hogs, even if, there's, even if there's only like 10 of them, you typically see heal, heal spells. Um, this one is a queen walk, two golem. I believe there's bowlers in the kill squad. So really just going heavy on the assault troops, the kill squad troops, and saving not a whole lot for the back end, but enough. And you guys will see how this one pans out as we go through. I love those balloons right there. The timing was just perfect. Um... Actually, the queen. I was thinking the queen might lock on to those to the queen, and the balloons could do even more. But I guess I watched that wrong. Still, they got that one archer tower, which is important not only for the DPS but also for the funnel. That was critical to make sure that the queen did not walk that way. A very important building to take out because it's not reachable from the queen. If she goes around that side, she has to walk backwards and backtrack to take out that archer tower. Uh, plus, it allows him to not have to use the rage or an ability just uses the poison, takes out the defensive queen. So uh, great value from those three balloons. Here's the kill squad, huge kill squad, has the queen meeting up with her five healers. And notice how there's not an air defense that's going to shoot down those healers at first. That's important. You don't want your, your queen walk to meet up with your kill squad if it's going to result in like three of your four or three of your five healers dying. So I think only one of them, if any, died to that air defense. It was set back far enough. And they'll, they'll continue to go down as they encounter more air defenses, which happens. But they're getting great value. They're healing up the king, the golems. No troops are dying pretty much. And here come the hogs, mainly for that Tesla farm right there. I'm not sure if this was a fresh attack or if it was a cleanup. But if it was a fresh attack, it was a good adjustment there, knowing to drop the ho uh, the hogs strong on the Tesla farm, and that way gets that DPS taken care of. Meanwhile, the king and the queen, as they often are when you get raged healers on them inside the base, with golems as well tanking, they were at full health um, going into the back end of this base here. Just the defensive king left up, and everybody's on him. He goes down, a few hogs dropped for cleanup. Nice attack, nice three-star three, th three star to just in time. Uh, let's move on. Two more to take a look at. And uh, 
Moving on to base 17, just one below this. Did he forget an archer for that builder's hut? Yeah, maybe he did. He had archers, he just didn't drop them on the builder's hut. Oh well. Gotta be careful about that. Um, sucks to run out of time if that's the reason why. Okay, moving along here. This one was a fantastic attack. I believe Naughty here has a ridiculous amount of troops left up when everything's said and done. Be careful with that baby dragon though. So close to the healers, doesn't get the raged baby dragon ability thing, whatever you call it, the tantrum I think. And it's it's actually weird to watch a non-tantrumed baby dragon. It's so much weaker. I guess it does half the damage, which is a, a huge difference. So anyway, this queen walk was awesome. Those Teslas Always good to get taken out in the queen walk. I've said this before because the queen has so much range and the Teslas have so limited range that by the time the Teslas target the queen, considering they take an even shorter range to pop because their their trigger radius isn't the same, it's actually shorter than their damage radius. So by the time they pop up and start damaging the queen, she's almost locked onto them already. So they do very little actual damage on her. Uh, you can get some great value right here. Anyway, the queen is being targeted by the CC troops. Pops the ability. I believe he will also get some good value and take out the defensive queen right here. He's going to have to rage her up again. And it looks like she's on the wall. Okay, right there she steps up. A little bit weird, but uh, gets the queen taken out. Those uh, two rages and the ability, quite a high price. But the, the value is good getting the heroes, or at least the queen, I guess and the CC troops and some key defenses. Now here come the hogs, only has two heal spells, but that's pretty much all he needs. The hogs can take care of themselves, especially when all the damage dealing uh, defenses for the most part were towards the top of the base. There is a little bit of a cannon farm, if I can coin that term, down here, plus the king, but he drops his own king on the defensive king. Not a bad thing to do if you're doing a queen walk and you don't really have a good use for the king. If the defensive king's close enough to the outside, and you're doing a hog attack where the king can be an issue if he gets on, locked onto your hogs, just go ahead and drop your king on him. Uh, just pop the ability, your king will take him out. I'd say a level 15 king could probably take out a level 30 king just because of that ability. So it doesn't have to be like a 30 v 30 or anything like that. Just as long as you have a decent leveled king, he can pretty much take out any king uh, as long as there's not like a bunch of other defenses targeting him too. So nice one to Naughty. Look at these hogs left up. Incredible, both heroes. Um, another crushed base. Like I said, I had to show some of these. Uh, very nice Town Hall 9 attacks. Last one to take a look at as we wrap this thing up is base number 25. In this one, another hog attack. I know I'm showing a lot of hog attacks today, but they're just, they've been on, you know. Hog attacks are something that I, I'm a personally a big fan of. I love hogs and I like using them at Town Hall 10 when I can, but they're also very powerful. And I think Town Hall 9 is a bit interesting because I think we're seeing Laloon not be used nearly as much, at least in Genesis. We're seeing hogs become much more popular and not the typical stoned hobo, but just straight up hogs. Four heal spells on this one attack here. The level 6 heal spell, was it brought down? I don't think it was, no. We've, Town Hall 9 has always had level 6 heal spells, but it seems like recently, for whatever reason, the hogs, they might, I think they've gotten a buff somewhat recently. I can't remember, to be honest. Um, there's been new levels added for sure. I can't remember if the hogs have gotten actual buff just to level 5 hogs. But regardless, uh, one key thing is you can bring those level 7 hogs in the CC, which are so strong. And people are realizing, you know, the base, as long as it's not like a hugely anti-hog base, and even certain types of anti-hog bases can be hogged very easily, hogs under heal do not die that easily. So four heal spells... 20 something hogs plus a cc of them and then using your heroes with like a golem or something very powerful strategy and i know some of you guys have lower level heroes and you're thinking can that work for lower level heroes i made a video a while back um not too long ago on the key to lower level heroes and how to attack differently than if you have max heroes and typically it's about building bringing a, a bigger kill squad in terms of damage so i would recommend if you do have lower level heroes bring some valks and don't go quite as heavy on the hogs 
because you do need a kill squad to bite off a chunk of the base regardless. You can't just straight up hog a base. And with lower level heroes, you're not going to get nearly as much value. So you might as well bring some extra damage with them and really get a good kill squad going because you kind of have to bring one anyway on um, pretty much every base because the queen, the CC troops are all stuff that has to be taken out ahead of time. So um, that's my recommendation if you have lower level heroes. Bring some more DPS in your kill squad, a little bit less hogs, maybe just 18 plus maybe a CC of them or just 20 of them and no CC, something like that, just not quite as many. And I think you will be successful with uh, these hogs as well. So anyway, that was the video, just some miscellaneous attacks I wanted to show you guys. I wasn't quite sure what else I had for tonight for the content. So I'm planning on doing some defensive videos soon. Stay tuned for that as well as some new ideas I've been thinking about for possible ways to show you guys some of the CWO content when it starts in just a little over a week here. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.